It's yours truly, Miss Quad, and we are back for another episode of Absolutely Quad, a lifestyle channel, and that's what we're gonna do today. Let's talk repurposing candles. <laughs> Now, a lot of us spend a lot of money on our candles. So what I want us to do is get all of our scents out of our scents, right? So with that being said, I'm gonna show you today how to repurpose your candles. Uh, all of these are pretty much empty. I have two of them that are empty here. Um, I have one that is low and I can do a lot with this. Oh, oh honey, oh, this is money. This is money right here. This is all money. And a lot of times people think when the wicks are out, oh, well, it's done. The candle's over. Let's just toss it and throw it away. Not on my dime, you will, honey. We keep her. Okay? And see, this one is, oh my God, this is a really, really good one. This is a five-wicked candle. As you can see, we still have so much oil and wax here. We have a lot that we can do with this. Okay? This is all money. So, this is really, really easy. You can do this at home with things that are right in your kitchen. I have a traditional plate. I have a small saucer. Butter knife, honey. I use a, there's nothing like an all-purpose butter knife, honey, because a butter knife can mess around and not only butter your bread, but it can be a screwdriver. In this case, we're gonna pop the old wicks out of our candles. We're gonna need some scissors. A large spoon or a spoon of some sort. So these are some wicks that I purchased out of like a Michaels, a Hobby Lobby, your local arts and crafts store, okay? Doesn't cost you anything, but it's going to save you everything and you're gonna get your money out of your cents, okay? So, I have my butter knife here and what I'm doing now is locating the bottom or the base of the wick. There you go. This is what you're removing, okay? This is the base of the wick that was in the candle previously that is now used. There's nothing that we can do with her. She's done. It's a done deal, stick a fork in her. So what I normally do is just all the things that I don't need or don't want to use or not gonna use, just put it on this small plate. But I still have so much candle wax here. Nothing is to be wasted. So I take my large spoon and all I'm doing now is pretty much scraping it up as if it was ice cream. That's all I did. And you see how empty this one is. So this is good, we're still gonna use that. So I put this one on the plate that I'm gonna use. That one's empty. And a lot of these candles can also be used as a body oil. See how simple that is? Now see, I have a little wax on it. Yes, that's wax. That's money. That's money, honey, money. Zoom in on the money. Get the money, get the money. So you will know that some candle waxes can be used as body oil because the texture of it. So for instance, this one, the bond number nine one, I'm gonna show you all something. It's almost like a cream. You see that? You see how oily my fingers are? And it's nice and oily, okay? That's an oil-based candle that can also be used as a fragrance that you can rub on your skin. Now check, you need to know first, if your skin's sensitive now, don't come fooling around talking about Miss Quad said that I could put hot candle wax on me. Now I know some of you girls are into that, but this is not hot and it's more of an oil base, okay? So get into her. Okay, back to the project. So the same thing here, all I'm doing is making sure that I get all of the wax. That's all that I'm doing. So that one's empty enough, we like her. So same thing here, remove the base of the 
candle wick and just scoop out. Scoop out. I, I rarely ever, 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 ever throw my old, especially like when I have like the smaller ones like this, I rarely ever um, throw those away because I know in my larger candles, I'm going to be able to repurpose that candle again and I'm going to need a container to put it in. So kind of hold on to those too, okay? If you can remember, just hold on to it. Hold on to it, honey, like it's Gerald LeVert. Baby, hold on to me. And it's simple. And it's something to do with your kids. You know, if you have children, you want a little bonding time, be creative, do something different. Y'all ain't always gotta go spend your money on your children. They wanna spend time with you. That's how that goes. So you see how well I got that out of there? So all of that, all of that candle wax came out of this. Look at how much wax I have here. Yes, God, honey. We cooking now, baby. Okay, so ooh, this one, honey. Winning. We are winning. Look at how much we have here. This is a three wick. Was this three wick? I think this was a three wick. I see two of them in here. Let's just pop those out. And again, it's so simple. That's one. That's the other. Now this one, it's a lot. So I'm putting my elbow in this one now. Cause it's like a lot, a lot that's left. Look at that. I mean, and, and this is money. You girls would have thrown this away. This is money going straight to the trash. Not in my house. Okay, perfect. So let's just roll with what we have here. Now this is what we're going to do. Simple. You wanna go ahead and go over to your stove. You're gonna turn it on like a low to medium heat but more low because what you want to do now is make sure you're going to melt all of this, okay? Okay, so now we have our heated pot. It's just a small medium pot. I have it on a medium to low heat and then here is all of my oil-based wax, okay? So I want to make sure that's warm and it is hot and it's simple. I'm just going to go ahead and allow this to fill my pot. That's okay. Get into it, honey. So now we're gonna allow that to liquefy. And it's just melting down, melting down, melting down. And these are two uh, old candle jars. Uh, one was a centerpiece from Bun, and the other one is a Joe Malone one. I've cleaned these both out and they're dry, they're ready to go, okay? So I wanna tell you, it smells so good. You know, this is kind of almost like old school when your mom used to have potpourri. You know, she used to have the potpourri pot and she put the water in and then all of the dry flowers and the potpourri and then she'll let it burn and it just sit at the house. That's old school. I'm real grown. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. And we're done. So we're going to go back to our original station and we're going to go ahead and place the wicks in these and also the candles. All right, come on. You might wanna use this though. If you have a steady hand, you might not need it. What we don't wanna do is waste our oil, okay? They're empty, they're clean, I washed them, I rinsed them, I dried them, they're ready. So, very simple. All I'm gonna do now is take my wicks. And I got extra long wicks because I did not know. I like to have more wick than not. They do have some shorter ones in the store, but I don't buy those. I just rather have more than, you know, than a little, okay? So if I need to cut them, then of course I have my scissors here. And all you're gonna do now is just simply place, place your wick where you want it to be. And for the small ones, it's normally in the center, okay? That's fine. I'm gonna do one over here too. Cause I think we'll have enough for, for two candles here. I like to let it cool for a bit, uh, maybe a couple of minutes, just let it cool. You don't want it to be too cold because if it's too cold then of course it's gonna go ahead and start um, becoming solid. And you don't wanna do that. So you want it to be liquid like it is now. So it doesn't matter if your wick is kind of leaning or whatever. That's okay, that's fine, don't worry about that. Now I've let the liquid kind of cool a little bit, which I really love that. So I'm gonna go freehand it first, and then I'll do it with the funnel. So those of you who are gonna use a funnel, hey, 
There you go. So I'm just going to hold my wick in place. probably was like 99 cents at your local gas station or AutoZone, maybe Home Depot, Lowe's, honey. I don't know where I got it from. It was, All I know was cheap, okay? We're going to do the same thing here. This time we're going to use the funnel. Actually, I'm better at freehanding this thing on funnel. I'm losing wax. I'm losing oil. I can't afford to lose oil. I like it. I like it too much. I like it. I like it. So it cools really quickly. So this is why we have to do it while it's warm. So um, we want to make sure that you have your base of your wick right where you want it to be, okay? And I'm looking at it. It's right in the center. It's good because once it cools, it's going to solidify. Everything's going to become solid. And that's pretty much it. The only thing we will have to do, the last thing we will have to do is just cut the wick. So I'm going to do this one too. Just make sure it's properly placed where I want it to be placed. And that's in the center. So all we're doing now is allowing these to cool. And they are. All right, y'all. We did our thing, honey. We have repurposed our candles. Get your sense out of your sense. Until the next time, you make sure you live your life fabulously. The Absolutely Quad Way, a lifestyle channel.